OK, here we have a double-barreled question about life of batteries uh, and hypothesis testing. In part A, we've got a sample of size 5, very small sample, so it really, really matters whether you uh, use Z or T. Make sure you make the, the correct selection. If you're using a sigma from the population, then it's Z. If you're using an S from the sample, then it's T. When you state your critical value of Z or T, be very clear about whether it's positive or negative or plus or minus if it happens to be a two-tailed test. Be very clear about comparing your calculated and critical values. Say which is bigger than which very clearly and what you're doing with H0. Reach a verdict on whether you're accepting or rejecting H0. But then interpret in context. Reach a decision about the suspicion of the members of the photography club. Talk about whether there is evidence or not evidence. Talk about whether you're going to um, believe that suspicion or not. Uh, do not use words like prove or say anything that's too positive, which is a normal error that's made. In part B, we've now got a much larger sample of 80. So, in that context, again make the decision about Z and T, but you know that, although it's never right to use T when it should be a Z test, for large samples, if you use Z for a T test, that can sometimes uh, get around problems where the value isn't tabulated that you need. Now, the interesting feature of this is that instead of giving you um, the raw data, they're giving you summary statistics. And you've got to remember how to use this one to get the sample mean, and how to use this one to get the sample variance or standard deviation. If you've forgotten the formula for this, it is in the formula book, this particular one. There's another one that isn't. So um, make sure you can calculate the sample um, standard deviation, which you will need. And once again, to set up new hypotheses. We've got a different, we've got a belief this time instead of suspicion. So it's a complete restart. Maybe it's a different number of tails or a different tail of the test. Um, do it from scratch, and you should be all right.